Hi, this is my review of the Belkin Car Universal Mount. Now I paid for this product off Amazon for £14. Now we'll go around the box and on the front of the box we have Belkin uh, logo. We have a little logo that the mount can be portrayed the um, phone hold the phone in landscape and in portrait mode um, we have a picture of the mount itself on a dashboard um, car universal mount supports universal pure that must be in french i think uh, and obviously cell phones for smartphones we go around the side of the box car universal mount the Belkin logo and on the back of the box it just gives you a description of each part of the mount so this is the the plate to fix it on the suction cup which uses a locking system simple twist locking system the arm the phone mount itself which is spring loaded um, tilt and forward which you can do with this and turn it from landscape to portrait and a dashboard adapter as well so if you don't want this on the window uh, windscreen of your car or windshield you can put, place it onto your dashboard using this dashboard mount on the other side it just gives you the maximum um, the maximum width it holds which is 3.3 inches or 8.5 centimeters the compatibility of phones it's compatible with but in general it's compatible with most phones anyway so I wouldn't worry too much about that um, and that is it so what we'll do is we'll open the box and in the box put that to the side and what you'll get is a Belkin just a quick um, instruction um, diagram how to place your phone um, onto the mount itself how to place the cord because there is a hole where you can run the cord through if you need to um, on this side here it tells you um, the best place to place it if it's on the windshield how to place it on the windshield the unlocking and locking system of the well we'll come to that um, we're on the other side where to place it on the dashboard what you need to do clean the dashboard first and then the mount for the dashboard and how to insert the actual holder onto the mount now we have the unit itself and the dashboard mount now the unit i'll do that first the unit comes like this it is practically about four and a half inches long just over four and a half inches long I'd say call it five then five inches long it's quite light very light has a very large suction cup now I've got medium sized hands and as you can see it's almost as big as my hand uh, palm of my hand so there's a very large rubbery field good quality um, suction cup here and then we have the locking system here which is in color so as you can see when I turn it to lock it's in black and then I turn it clockwise it's in open position there and with a red bar to show you that this is now in open position so it's not locked so a great visual cue to show you um, when it's locked and when it's not locked next we have the hole we have the arm here and then we have a opening here to place your cord 
uh, through if you if you wish to place a cord through to keep your phone charged we have an opening for that there we have the Belkin lo uh, logo on the phone mount and the phone mount is just a bit bigger than the actual suction cup here so that's to give you some sizes and actual a bit bigger and we have the Belkin logo on there and this is made out of rubber a very good rubber and then we have the grips for the side of the mount now the grips work independently as you can see as I pull they actually have a very tight spring to them so this will really hold your phone nice and snug in there and there is also the same grippiness of rubber on the sides here and on that side we underneath it has a kind of bulbous back as you can see and with a ball socket here now the ball socket is very stiff which I like because I notice after time when you move these or when you first get these on certain ones I had before for car mounts this was quite loose and you had to physically tighten a tightener at the behind but and as the unit got older and older probably due to the sunlight etc hot and cold weather this ball released up so it was rub they're absolutely rubbish but with this one it's quite great it feels tight and by looking at it in there there is I try to get it on the camera but there is a kind of rubber lining inside this ball grip in this ball mount which makes it even more tight so I'm glad that Belkin has done that they're forward to that because most companies they don't do that at all so there's some rubber inside the mount in there now I'll use a my iPhone SE and to show you how to mount it and you simply push it in at one side clips in and that's it that phone is sitting in there nice and tight and I'm giving it a good shake and that phone is not going anywhere as you can see yep yeah, that phone isn't going anywhere and as I says I've got a small iPhone SE and I've got an iPhone 7 Plus which I'm filming on at the moment and it can take very large phones now we'll take that out now we have the car mount now the card card dashboard mount is simply a peeling back that is a clean plastic disc here with the words Belkin written in the middle obviously you've got to remove this layer of plastic here to access it but it is very very smooth underneath really smooth and then if you look here it's sitting on a kind of I would say a flange a kind of flange and it's purposely cut and the reason why this is cut like this is not all dashboards are perfectly flat some dashboards have a kind of curvature to it so this is done so it can fit round a curb not a, a steep curve but just a, a graduation of a slope on your dashboard and what we have is some M3 um, sticky uh, nis to the bottom so you peel off this and what you basically do is you peel this off and it's a bit tricky with my fingers because I haven't got much fingernails but basically you peel off this cover here this paper cover here which reveals the sticky M3 um, solution underneath and then you place this on top of your dashboard down and obviously with these how these are cut out it will curve to that slope of your dashboard and then with this mount you simply place that on there 
turn the locking system. If I get the, it's the best thing to face it towards me. Turn the locking system and then just lock that in. And that's it. That is now sticking um, to your dashboard. Now, my advice is if you're not moving from car to car, I would not use the dashboard mount. I just wouldn't use it. If it's a, your permanent car that you'll be driving all the time, then I would put down the dashboard mount. But personally, I would not um, bother if you're using the, if you're between cars, even if you're um, a family with more than one car, personally, I, I wouldn't use that. I would just use the window because this, as I said, this is a quite, a very good quality suction cup. So I would just use that then rather than using the dashboard mount, dashboard plate mount. Now, my conclusion of this um, car universal mount is, I've been using this in my lorry at work that I drive, because um, my previous one, which was a groove um, mount, which was much smaller than this, it was more compact than this one, um, lasted me for just over a year and a half and it just collapsed. The ball and socket joint on the back here eventually worn down. It was one of them ones which I stated already that used a kind of um, tightening device here to tighten it and eventually it just worn down because of the vibration of the lorry because obviously when you drive a lorry especially a seven and a half ton lorry they vibrate more than even a car do um, does and eventually it wore it down and it just became useless and also the suction cup spring which is inside here and became worn and that went so I had to replace it with this now I've had this um, literally for two weeks and I have to say the construction of this is absolutely great so if you're a lorry driver or you drive a van um, a big vehicle like that a big van or a lorry um, this is great or to the Americans a truck this is great one of the best holders to get this one is I'd spend the money I know uh, 14 pounds um, is a lot of money for a holder but uh, for a phone holder but you get what you paid for I have had other Belkin products and they do last long they actually last long so and this one once it was unfitted on the lorry there was hardly any vibration um, must be because this arm is quite thick and the suction cup holder is quite big there was hardly any vibration holding my phone to it if you're a car driver this would be absolutely perfect you wouldn't get no vibration at all off this um, at all obviously if you hit a pothole then it's something different but during your normal trips you wouldn't get no vibration off this I hope you like this video on the Belkin car universal mount please give us a like if you've got this mount please leave a comment down in the comment section thanks for watching